Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I'm gonna just do a quick little video on my bronzer collection. Um, I just kinda wanna start out with some small, like short kind of videos, I guess, and then maybe get into the makeup tutorials, just cause it's easier and um, it's kinda harder to find the time to do the makeup tutorials with both kids, but they're with a babysitter right now, so I decided I'm just gonna film. And I'm going to show you guys my bronzer collection, which I have more in my collection, but I don't use them, so I don't, I'm not even going to include them. I'm just going to include, include the ones that I really love and the ones that I use all the time whenever I do my makeup, which doesn't change often because I don't do my makeup too much. Um, since I did get uh, lash extensions again uh, a couple months ago, a few months ago now, I do love just doing my like face makeup foundation uh bronzer blush all that lipstick not doing my eye makeup but today i decided i'm just gonna try a little eye makeup because my lashes really need a fill and i don't have my appointment yet so i decided to just throw on some eyeshadow too but anyways so let me get into my into my bronzers i'm gonna start with the ones that are kind of that I like, but I just don't use that often. I don't reach for them anymore. I used to use them all the time. But lately, I just use like one or two that I really, really love. So the first one is this NARS Laguna bronzer. And it's just the, like this classic bronzer that everybody probably heard of, everybody has. It's a very nice, like natural color. And it's not too dark, it's not too orange, it's just very pretty. I feel like it's like a very nice sun-kissed glow. So I really like this one. Let me just swatch it really quickly for you. It's very subtle. So it's like, if you have darker skin than mine, I don't know if this would work very well, but it's, just, it's like you could barely see it. I don't even know if you could see that on the top. Yeah, it's a little bit there. Just very nice subtle glow. Um, and then I have the, I really love this one. It's the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. And I love this one. It's more of an orange tone though. So I think it's really nice for summer when it's like hot outside and when you're already like have kind of a tan. Cause it's pretty orange, but I think it looks really nice. I love it. And I love the more warmer tone bronzers anyway, so. And then I have um, both of these Marc Jacobs bronzers. Excuse my nail, <laughs> again. Um, yeah, so these right here. This one is in the color Tantalize, and this one is in the color Tantastic. And then, let me show you these. The Tantastic bronzer. I feel like it is very light also, so I don't use it often at all, but they do smell like coconut. They smell really good. They smell like a, some kind of a sun tanning lotion, like when you're at the beach, like in Hawaii or something. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, this is the, it's very, like very light. And then I'll swatch the next one next to it. And it's the Tantalize one. Oh, it's a lot more orange. Again, it's very nice for summer. Like, I think it's really nice. So see, this is like way more orange. And then actually, let me show you the other one. It's right here. So you can see that is way lighter. And it's like more neutral. But, right here. That one, the Tantastic is in the middle. It's like very sheer. Very light. And then the second one is that tantalized one, which is more dark. And then moving into my top, like number one bronzers, which I have four right now, four. They're my favorite bronzers. I can use them with any look, anytime. I just love them all. So I don't really, like I don't have a preference of which one is the best, but I'll start from the one that I've been using for like mm, over a year, I believe now. And it is the Laura Mercier bronzer in the shade Bronze 4. Love this bronzer. I've used it so much. I don't even have the dome shaped anymore. It's like, you can see the indentation in there. 
because I've used so much. I actually got a backup of this one because I um, saw they were on sale randomly at Sephora, so I picked up another one. And it is also another one of those like more orangey tone, but I just I love these. I feel like they're the most like most flattering for my skin tone personally. The cool tone bronzers just look super dirty on me, so I never even buy them. But it's right here. There. Very nice. Very like. I feel like it's very natural for a bronzer, but it's still very dark and it looks really good as like a contour or a bronzer. And then the next two are new purchases. Well, the next three, the last three are new purchases. And I've been really, really loving them. They're more expensive, so. <laughs> We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, these are the uh, new Dior forever bronzers right here I have two colors I have the shade 05 warm bronze and the shade 07 golden bronze and they are also warm tone bronzers they're more on the orangey side but like one is one I mean I feel like the 05 looks a lot more like ashier than the 07 right here's the 05 and then this is the 07 which is a lot orangier looking but I feel like they work really well. This one is just a little more lighter and the other one is a little more darker for me. Um, I picked them up when uh, Macy's was having like their 15% off sale or whatever it was. And they were brand new and I was like, oh, the packaging is so pretty. So I decided, I'm like, I want to try that. And the packaging is so soft. It's like this really soft, leathery looking package. But it gets dirty, really dirty. So, so this is the 05. And then this is the 07, which looks a lot more orange, but they look really pretty on the skin, like when you have a nice contour, and I really, really love them. And then my last one is my newest one, and I've just been really, really loving this bronzer. It's very expensive, but I decided I want to try it out because I picked up recently the, the Gucci foundation and the primer, and I really love it. Like, I was like kind of hoping I'm going to not love it as much so I could return it because it was really expensive but I really love it I loved it I wore it a few times now and the first time I put it on I just loved how it looked the whole day it looked so good I was kind of expecting it to be like kind of wear down and not look so good but it lasted so good all day long oh the smell there's a smell in the their makeup I feel like it's in all of them probably yeah it's like a smell they have a certain smell it's kind of perfumey, kind of florally. So I thought maybe I wouldn't wouldn't like that because I do have kind of sensitive, not skin, but sensitive like to smells and fragrance and strong things like that. So I just I just, I just thought I might not like it because I might have to return it because it would hurt my head. But actually the smell pretty much goes away after you use the product. Like right away you could smell it, but throughout the day you can't smell it at all. Like it just goes away. So I really, I really love it. Um, so this is the bronzer. I picked up the bronzer to go with that foundation and I've been using it all the time and it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. This Tiffany blue packaging and gold. Oh, I just love it. But anyways, um, it's in the color 03. That's the bronzing powder and it is this right here. My daughter got into it and got a little dent <laughs> with her nails. But it's right here and it comes with a brush that I don't even, I haven't even opened it yet because I just prefer the two brush. I have two brushes I use for bronzer and contour. I'll show you those. Uh, yeah, this is my, one of my favorite. The top three is definitely, okay, I have top four. The Laura Mercier, the Dior, and the uh, Gucci bronzer. It's also pretty like on the orangey, warm side, reddish orange, but I really love how it looks. It looks very, very pretty and glowy and like bronzy. It's right there. So yeah, those are my favorite bronzers that I like been using for years. Well, the, the old ones, but recently picked up the newest ones. So been using those. And then there's only two brushes that I use for bronzers. And I used to always, always use the NARS Eda brush, which if you've seen my old videos, you've seen me use this all the time, like all the time. It's right here. It's like this. Very nice brush for contouring, um, but lately I've been using, I mean I still use this when I like do my nose contour a little bit, and then I use it a beauty blender to kind of even it out because it does leave harsh lines, 
But this one right here is my favorite, favorite, favorite brush for bronzer. I've been using this one. And it is the Real Techniques Powder Brush. And I just love it so much. My sister-in-law recommended it to me like years ago. And I didn't really think I would like a big brush like this so much because I thought you'd have to really get into the cheekbones. But this one actually works really well. Lately, I've been just using this one. I haven't even touched the Eda brush. So I just put the bronzer on. I'm wearing the Gucci one today. Just put the bronzer on. Just go like this. And just put the... Mm. And just put the bronzer on just my around my face my cheekbones jawline a little bit and yeah and I just I love it it's very very good and if you need a new bronzer brush I would definitely pick this one up it's pretty affordable compared to other brushes that I have like the NARS Dita brush is 60 bucks I believe this one was like 10 so yeah very very good in price and yeah those are my favorite bronzers favorite two brushes favorite way to apply them and yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys those because I love bronzer. I like, I, I really, really love bronzers. If I had to pick like a favorite face makeup thing, makeup, you know, like highlighter, bronzer and all that, I would definitely, definitely pick bronzer because I just love it. It just like really chisels your face and it makes you look glowy and like from a vacation. But yeah, um, anyway, so yeah, that's that. And um, I do want to do a video on like my updated nude lipsticks because I have a bunch of new lipsticks that I've been using and that I love. And then also maybe on blushes or highlighters if you guys want to see that. And my collection has gone uh, a lot smaller since I haven't been buying too much makeup, haven't been doing too much makeup recently for the past few years. So I just basically have what I love, like what works for me and what I really, really, truly love. And yeah, if you guys wanted to see that, maybe I could do a video for you on those and like my foundations. Um, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys like this video. I'm still getting back into doing these videos, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, um, if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one.